Well, hello, welcome class. This is lesson 8-9 on transformations. Um, now, we've talked about transformations a little bit in the past. It's basically taking things and moving them around the plane. So let's talk about um, the three types of isometries. And isometries are special kinds of transformations where everything is preserved. It basically stays the same. So if you had like a coaster and you slide it around the table, or you turn it, or you reflect it, um, that's basically what we're talking about. And the three types of isometries are translations, reflections, and rotations. Now, Basically, a translation is just a slide. Okay, it's like taking something on a table and literally sliding it. A reflection is just what you'd imagine. It's a flip. It's a mirror reflection uh, of the image. And a rota rotation, of course, is a turn. All right, so let's go ahead and take each of these separately, and we'll talk about how to uh, do them. And one of my favorite things to do when you're talking about motions is to start with a big capital R, because then you can very clearly see what you've done to it. Okay, so here's a translation. I'm just go ahead and take this R, okay, and I'm going to copy it. And in a in a translation, all I do is I just literally slide the R um, to another point, okay. So right here, you can see how I have. Let me clean up a couple of those extra marks, okay. I've taken the capital R and I've just literally slid it um, about an inch to the right and up a little bit, okay. Um, I could just as easily have taken that same. Uh, R, and I could have put it way down here. And again, let me clean that up a little bit. Oops. Okay. And so, um, and a good way to show the translation, this one I've gone down about 45 degrees, maybe a little steeper than that, but I've gone from there to there, and you can see that this R here is exactly the same as the one I started with. Okay. It's the same size. It's the same shape. That is a translation. Okay. Now, with a reflection, again, let's start with an R. Okay. With a reflection, you're going to have a line of reflection, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to literally take each point and you're going to go perpendicular to the line and about an equal distance to the opposite side. And what you're going to do is you're going to get a mirror reflection, okay? And the reason, one of the reasons I like R is because you can see that the R is flipped around backwards. And I guess I should actually make it have a little tail like that, okay? And so that is a reflection. Um, let's go ahead and reflect across a different line. Let's take something that's an actual geometric object, like this scaling triangle. Again, so what you're going to do is you're going to go across the line with all three points of the triangle. And you will get this triangle right here. And again, it's a reflection. Now, if I give the triangle uh, a name, I call it ABC, we'll call the reflection image A prime, B prime, C prime to indicate that that's the new points. All right. Um, now, let's try it with a rotation. So if I take a rotation, okay, I need a center point, and what I do is I essentially take each point, measure the center point. Let's say I'm rotating 90 degrees. Okay, and then what I do, I'm going to measure, uh, let's see, we're going to do a 90 degree rotation. Um, we'll do it counterclockwise. Okay, and so every point is going to basically rotate uh, about 90 degrees. Okay, and you should get something that looks about like this. It's not perfect, but that's the idea. This is going to rotate around to here. In all three of these motions, translations, reflections, and rotations, um, the object I start with, in this case the capital R, or in, in the case of the triangles, um, the image, the thing I end up with, is going to be exactly the same size and shape. Now think about our terminology from this, this unit. In other words, when you do a transformation, one of these isometries, translations, reflections, and rotations, the image you end up with is going to be congruent to the one you started with. Okay? Um, that's pretty much it for, um, for what I want you to get out of this video. So thanks for watching, and um, you'll be working on practice problems um, involving these in class tomorrow, and you'll also be getting a head start on your chapter review. So thanks for tuning in, and this is Mr. Gunn signing out. Um, take care, everybody. Have a good night.